Canada's 150th birthday, Mike, Matt, we're back for Canada's most amazing meal ever. And you might be thinking to yourself, oh, they're gonna make a poutine with some cool ingredients. No, we are not. We're not going time. way above and beyond that. This is gonna be the most Canadian meal using a smorgasbord. Smorgasbord. French or smorgasbord? Uh, cornucopia? Sure, let's go with cornucopia of ingredients and meals that are just scream Canada. We're gonna put them all together. Let's do it. And the first layer we have is Canada's own uh, from the town of Kilwell, Ontario. This is the beaver Flatter tail. than the prairies of Saskatchewan is the beaver tail. We have another layer of female or Canadian bacon. Oh, let's bacon. put that on. Well, Throw it on there in a nice little yeah. pizzazz. Make sure it's lined up nicely. You want it to be on an angle. Yeah, you want to cover most of the surface area of the, the beaver tail. Next up, we have an interesting combination of potato, cheese, and gravy. It's, it's a little something they call poutine. Poutine? Poutine. You want to scoop that. Scoop you just and slam. Kind of, just, just scoop and just kind of throw it on there. Scoop slam. It doesn't matter if your hands get dirty. This is where you can get a little messy and creative. Yeah, you know, if you want to draw just, some things, you, design something. You, what, what do we have next going on here? Uh, the quintessential easy meal for all Canadians. A little bit of KD. Oh, uh, yes. A little bit of craft cheese. dinner. Most children are probably growing up eating these. I live on it. If you got a little ketchup we can put on it? Why not? Oh, yeah. Look, at just sprinkle it. Sprinkle. Layer it. Sprinkle. Oh, sorry. Sorry. Just, sorry. I got a little ahead of myself. I get happy just when I put a little, little ketchup. On stuff. Okay, what do we have? Oh, what's next, Michael? Yeah. We need, we need to. What's next? We need to grab a couple things here. Oh, a little bit of Timbit action. Most people would think, oh, let's just drop them on whole. No, we can't do that. How, how would that stick? You need to be able to slice them slice nice. Slice and dice. Feel yeah. the waves like a oh. nice Lake Ontario breeze. Nice and Nicely easy. Nicely done. Yeah, yeah. And just sprinkle it on like a little salt pan. There it is. That looks delicious. Are we done? Oh, not even <laughs> How do we keep it all together? What's a good glue adhesive Canadian style liquid maybe, that we can use? Maybe there's a tree that could help us. Oh, oh maple, maple syrup, syrup to just keep everything together because it is getting a little messy. So we're just gonna sprinkle. No, drizzle. Drizzle. Drizzle just a little bit. Just a little taste. Just a taste oh, on top. Oh yes, look at that color. It's that oh. shine. Maple syrup is expensive. Note this. And our friends to the south, you guys may have Smarties. Not the right kind. There is nothing compares to a Canadian Smartie. This is just amazing Canadian treat. Ooh. Now you're seeing a little bit of stickiness, but that's okay. because of the maple syrup. Yes. So we were talking about ketchup earlier. It just wouldn't have. One to fit right. No. So now what we do is you don't put full ketchup. You got a little fun. Got a little fun. You gotta feel the bag, crush it up. Like over ten. Is that the right word? I have no idea. Am I using it right? Let's hope so. Over ten, just a little over ten. Give me a little salt bag. There it is. Oh yeah, look at that salt bag. Mmm. Oh, this is looking delicious. And here's the reds. Here's the red and whites. There it is. I don't know what people are thinking right now, but I know that I've never been hungrier. This looks like something that we should be eating the rest of our lives. It does get a little messy when you're making Canada's best meal. <laughs> Just deal with it. Well, last but not least, you gotta drizzle something uber Canadian. Yeah. A little cold beverage. Just a little cold brew. So you just want to drink. Just a little bit to bring a little bit of, it really accents the Timbit. Brings oh, up the flavors flavor. and really, it really opens up the tannins as well. The pores gotta get opened a little bit as well. We are not done yet. Mm -mm. Not done yet. Because this is good as it is, but there's one final thing we have to do. We have to bake it. it has to be baked. And what's what we suggest? Is that? Oh, 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 what, what? I believe after it's- After you, after you, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I believe it's at temperature 150. For how many minutes? I believe 150. Let's have uh, oh, sorry, oh, sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, 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 very sorry. I'm, it's okay, no, it's my fault. My fault. Your fault? Sorry. My no. fault? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Let, let me get this for you. Oh, sorry. Yes, sorry. thank you. Sorry. See, it's the bacon layer that really gives you an issue. <laughs> but you gotta mix it all, gotta get that Tim bit in there. Got you one Tim bit. Yeah, okay. Mm. 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 Mm.
into one casserole dish. That's what it would taste like. There you go. If you're looking for the perfect 150th anniversary celebratory meal. You want to celebrate Canada's birthday. Correctly this year, get the meal with 150 ingredients. I don't know about you, but let's make up for some more. Oh, s'mores. Ah. Uh.